Yes, yeah, good, good question. You never know. You know, um, Isaac Go is a big man at six seven in the PBA. He's not a big man in the world stage. I mean, uh, you can't take his level and take him to you know Europe and make him play against the six eleven, six ten guys there. Um, he's going to be overwhelmed. You know, he's just not big enough. So. Uh, when we talk about big men for the for Gilas, we're talking about guys who are 6'10", 6'11", 7 feet. You know, when we talk about a big man, a 6'7 guy, unless he's going to be a wing, you know, that was our, we, we thought about bringing Justin Aranya, you know, bringing, bringing Justin Aranya, being one of the placements, maybe giving him to come. But he's just too small. He's 6'6". He's just not going to be able to perform as a big man at the world stage. You know, because you've got to be 6'10", 6'11", 7 feet. You know, Jai, Akai can do it. You know, Jumar can do it. Uh, even Jap has struggled a little bit with, with at being at 6'9". You know, um, and AJ can certainly do it. He show, showed that in the World Cup. But you bring a 6'6 guy and, and make him play center, he ain't going to be able to do it at the world stage. So um, now if, 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 uh, if Isaac could learn how to play the wing, you know, and, and maybe play a small forward position with his size and body, he might be able to uh, play at the world stage. But he can't play a five at the world stage. And I think that's what we have to understand, that six foot six, six foot seven guys, unless they're wings, um, like a Justin, like a Jamie, like a Carl Tamayo, even Carl. Carl's six foot eight, but he can't play five at, at the world stage. But he can play the wing. So... When we're, when we're looking for big guys to play on Gilas, we're really looking for big guys. <laughs> we're not looking for, for medium-sized guys. We're looking for big guys. I mean, they're big to us, you know, but in the world stage, they're not, they're not big enough. So that's why Kai and, and Jumar and, uh, um, and AJ, Jappa, they give us a, a chance to play at that level and, and perform. And I think without them, we're always going to be a little overwhelmed. So it's a, it's a unique time for us right now to have a team like this, you know, the, the generational talents. And right now, it's a, it's right now at this time, I and mean, we got Kai at 22 and uh, Jumar at 33, 34, you know, um, it's not going to be, the window is going to, you know, five years ago, Kai was 17 and wasn't able to play with Jumar. And five years from now, Jumar will be 39, 40, and Kyle will be 28. So that window of the two of them being able to play together is is, is right now. This is where we got to take advantage of right now. Uh, so it's kind of like generational talents coming together, and uh, um, so I think that's 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 really key at this point. And the AJ would add a lot to that because he's near the age of Kai and can last. AJ and Kai can play together for the next, you know, six, eight, ten, ten years. And hopefully we can find another guy somewhere along the line that can add to them. And uh, uh, no one on the horizon at this point, though. No one on the horizon. But, I mean, how many times in, you know, generationally have we had, you know, we had EJ in the past, but he was not at this athletic level that Jumar and, and uh, Kai are at. But how many, how many times are we going to have these guys throughout, you know, our period of uh, uh, our generation? Or, uh, my generation's already gone, but your generation. Yeah. So uh, uh, that's, that's, that's the uniqueness of it right now, the idea of playing Kai and having Kai and Jumar together just because the window is going to be pretty small for those two guys to play together. That's why they're generational talents. Jumar with generation and Kai's a different generation, but they're merging together for right now. And we're lucky. We're lucky to see it. We're lucky to see it.